Oh, let's have a play with these lovely, um, like the zip, the oh, zip yeah. packaging, the zip one, and this one as well. Because I, I just like these, well, being crafters, these kind of tools are really nice. And we all know crafters as well, don't we? So we can easily make cards for our crafty friends. This zip is really cute concept as well. So, of course, I'm going to do this in a mirror card. So, what you have to work out is the teeth have to match, OK? You do die-cut them separately. Don't worry about them being closed or anything. So, just make sure you die-cut them. I'm going to save space and do them quite close together. And then you run that through your die-cutting machine and it just comes out like this. So, what we have here is this is the waste. Let me cut this off. That's a fun piece of waste. It almost looks well, look like a that. tire tread or something, doesn't it? And okay, then this you... is what you end up with. So you just snip these out. And I like a bit of extra cardstock on this side. Okay. Because what I'd like to do is to place another piece of cardstock over the top just to make that zip look authentic. And I love the fact you've got this little stitch line along it as well. And then, of course, you can join the teeth together now and have it together, or you can have it sort of separated. I love that. I like the concept of it. Isn't this. it great? It fits together really, really nicely. And then, of course, you've got all your zip pulls and everything. This piece here, that's the fix, fixed part, or the bit that you sort of pull down. And then you can add your little pull element. I quite like the star, so I'm going to die cut the star and this top piece here. And then we end up with these two pieces. And then what's really cute as well is this, the, um, the zipper part has got sort of teeth in it. And what you can then do, if you add a piece of glue to the back, then you get your pull, and they've all got these little rings. Then you could just slot that in, so oh. it looks like it's connected. Just hold it together. I just think that's really cute. Can we show that I, to camera one as well, just so we can see the details? I love, I love the art. Look at that. that. That make them look realistic. It's like a little earring. I just think that's really cute. It looks like it's fixed in there. It's and the little then, details that Marianne does I like. I love these little details, yes, it's, it's really lovely. OK, so I'm going to get a square card blank, which is about, oh, about 15. Get the ruler the right way round. 14 and a half centimetres square, and I'm going to use the zip, but I'd quite, like, I'd quite like to use it on the diagonal, just for a bit of interest. So I've got some textured pink card. I'm going to go girly and go for pink. And what I've done is I've already made up this left hand section here. So I've just applied the cardstock over the top and measured it and cut it to fit my card base. And then this side, I've just picked this one. I've just attached it to there. Okay. Well, look at that. And then I've worked out that I'd like the zip together at the bottom and open at the top. And then I can have the zip pull sort of about there. Just looks like it's been zipped down, which I've already worked out at the right angles, because this is fiddly and takes time. So I've already worked that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on foam tape so that it can be raised up and you get that effect. So it really looks like it's, I don't know, a coat or an item of clothing. Make sure I've got my card blank op opening the right way round. Little vouchers for like a clothing shop this would look nice for. Yes, yes. You could sort of tuck things in. And also scrapbook pages. That was my director's, that was my director's idea. Oh. Also, like scrapbook pages, you know, you could add this into one of the edges. There, that's, that's good. And then I'll, I've got a, one I've prepared earlier, a zip pull, with a little foam pad on the top. So I'll probably put it about there. Do we want it dangling down? Yeah, yeah. probably. 
I feel, I feel a little Probably dangle dangling gravity. down. <laughs> OK, so that's the zip that I've had fun with. Now, these elements here, I'm going to decorate the card with these. For instance, the scissors. I think they're really nice and I want to die cut those in silver as well. So I'll die cut those and I'll die cut those twice. So I've got two of them because what I'd like to do is I'd like to back them because I want to place the scissors about here. And then of course I want it silver on the back as well. It's just these little details that I like to do rather than having it white. I like things to look as realistic as possible. And then, of course, it, you, it die cuts out the little screw hole, um, which isn't so realistic, because oh. I want to put it back. So what I'd like to do is to add a piece of paper, just copy a paper, if you can see that. I've added a piece of paper in yeah. there. And then glue the scissors, put some glue. You could pop a little rivet gem. Yeah, you could add something else. So now I've got idea. a base to stick the little screw back in. So I've saved it. I've saved it over here. <laughs> so now I want to pop that back in, in there. And now if I get the ones I've prepared, I've prepared everything in advance because I know this is all glued. So now I want to see that so I don't need to put that one in there because I'm going to put the scissors about okay. there. And it makes them a bit sturdier as well if you back, sometimes if you back things up. So I place that there. And then I've got my nice, oh, my nice silver handle on the other side. Okay, now the caption, then I have to use these elements here. I love the fact you get two so you can layer up. So I'm going to cut the outer one from a soft pink card. So cut that. And then we get this nice detail, like a patch, isn't it? Well, it is. Stitching. I've only just realised what they actually are, uh, because I can see it on the top of the packaging. There. It's where you put your needles, look. So you put your needle, and you've also oh, got a, yes. a needle card Little in there. Little well. swatches. You, you get a thread card in there. That's Yeah, I love that. I'm going to use that. Yeah, it's like little swatches. I'm going to use it, I suppose, more like a patch, I think. And I suppose if you cut these out of brown, you could... Bear with me on this one. Uh, if you cut them out of brown, you could use them as... I, call, I don't know what their real name is. I call them cow biscuits. You know, the biscuits oh, with a little cow yeah. in the middle? Yeah! <laughs> or... Yeah, I bet everyone calls them that, don't they? <laughs> yes. So this white one, this smaller white one, is going to go on the top mm. and I'm going to stamp. I just love this Hello Creative Friend caption. So I'm just going to stamp the Hello. I'll use the thing black. Oh, I like this little kit because you could do your own like little survival thread kits and put little, um, little kits together with threads and... Yes, you could, I think yeah. You could, you could use yeah. the dye to cut out fabric. Yes, you can. Yeah, little, yeah, you'd real have bits metal, of fabric. You'd have to put a metal shim inside, wouldn't you? Yes, yes, that would look really cute. So I'll pop the hello on there. And then let's do this, this sort of tag come, yeah, thread holder, like you say. So I want to die cut that out of um, pop of yeah. colour. Let's go for green. You wrap your thread around the indentations. Look, it's just behind them scissors there on that packaging. We'll look at it in more detail shortly. Um, but you just wrap your threads around it. That would look quite cute if you wrapped it round. I'm going to do that, yes. Oh. So let's put... Oh, friend creative. I want creative friend. Let's pop that on there and die cut, die cut. Stamp that in the same black. I love this, the font style of these, these words as well. I think it's lovely. There we go, look. Let's have that. So let's use. I'm going to use a white thread. <gasps> you could knit them. A, you could give them enough thread to do the jumper. Give them a blank jumper inside the zip. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. That'd be like a crafty gift. Yeah, like again, like you put you wrap the threads around them, like you are doing now, and you say this is enough thread to create your own jumper. Here's the pattern. That's a great idea. That was my own. <laughs> I like that. There, squash the threads in the glue. I like these little tabs. At the back. OK, 
Okay, and then what we need to do, I'd like to put this on foam pads as well. So I'll put one at the bottom. If you're a soft crafter, I think these, one at the top. even if you're not a card maker, I reckon these would help. Yes, they would. Like with your yeah. threads and stuff. Yeah, you could, yeah, you you could, could die cut loads of these. For all your different threads, for all your DMC threads. Yes. And your, your different, especially if you're only using three skeins on your jumper, what do you do with the other three skeins if it's a six skein thread? Yeah, you wrap I need your three, them. You wrap your three skeins around them so you keep them safe. And you could like l loop it round with another piece of thread and, you know, attach it to your, like with this piece here, wrap it round there and then attach that to the top here or something. Well, yeah, I'm just thinking yeah. in general, I would just use them as person just as tabs and, and then just to keep all my threads safe. So yeah, I know where and, my threads are. and you've got space to write your number and the colour yeah. as well. So this, this piece is really cute, I like this. I kind of want to extend this as well because then it looks a bit like a page that you've taken out of a oh, journal yeah, yeah. and then just rip it so it looks authentic. So I've cut this from white card and I want to use the stamps again because I quite like this sleep, eat, craft, repeat stamp here. So if we use this, so if I get... Let's put it that way. No, that way. So if I get the... I need a piece of scrap paper just to hide that word because I just want the eat word and I'm just going to have it this way round and then just place it next to that square and then carry on with the... Oh, I've got inky fingers. Carry on with the other four words, okay. with the other four holes. It almost looks like they're, they're sort of a, a label for the threads. Like a little tick box. Yes. So, and I've added threads to this one. This is one I did earlier. So I've added um, a nice ombre green effect on there. So I need to put a foam pad on the back of here as well. And let's add this to our design. I just love adding these little elements as well and build it all up. Oh, I haven't got ink on my card now, have I? So I'll put this about there. Butterfly. That's a butterfly. Everyone, inky fingers, cover it with a butterfly. Oh, I'm going to try and rub it out. Oh. I don't want that there. It's, it's ink, though. How do you rub ink out? Sometimes if you do it quick enough. Well, I never it, knew that. It can rub off, but I'm not successful there. Bit of bread? A little button or something. No, bread's a good rubber. If you've not got a rubber, bread is the next best thing. Bread? <laughs> no, it is. You screw, is it? Take, don't use the crust. Take the crust off and screw up a little bit of bread. And you, that's another um, a natural rubber. Oh, wow. <laughs> no one believes me, I can tell, but it's true. It does work. <laughs> Interesting. It adds a little bit more texture as well. And let me use... I like the star from this set as well. I think this star's quite good. I'm going to turn this into a button. This is the one day special. Now, this, is just, this doesn't come in this kit. It comes in your one day special kit. 70% of that kit now of your one day special has already gone. Looking out for this one. What's this little tool? This is um, like an anywhere hole puncher. So it punches a hole like anywhere. Oh. It's like a, a, a screw hole puncher. It's, it's brilliant. I've got two little eyes in my star now. <laughs> It's like a button. <laughs> That's exactly what I want it to be. Da -da. So I've even put a little piece of green thread in the back there and knotted it. And I'm just going to place this on here. Because sometimes with haberdashery, you get a little card and the buttons are already sewn on there, aren't Look they? Look at this. So I, th I think maybe just one more element. OK. What can I go for? Let's go for this... The, um, the hearts cross stitch strip and die cut that. I've got that already die cut somewhere. Here it is. I've just cut a section of it at one end because what I quite like to do is to just cut a heart out, one heart. Oh, just the one? Yes. Because I only want a little element. And are you going to cross stitch the heart? I'm, I'm not. You could do. Oh but I'm not going to. I've got some here if you wanted to. <laughs> I don't cut those up. Why not? Right, I've got another one that I took longer and took my time cutting it out. I just think it's a nice little element. 
I'm just going to add that. Yeah, I could have put a few stitches in there if I wanted to. Let's twist that round a bit more. So, I think I might have enough haberdashery elements on there. So, I might just add a little button or something on there. I haven't got anything I can use at the moment. But basically, that's kind of it. Look at that. Uh, that is